So I played quite a bit of Terraria in between episodes, again. Uh, this time, I farmed so much cryogen. I killed cryogen so many times, it was ridiculous. And as a result, we got the Kelvin Catalyst. Now, this is a cool weapon. The way that you make it, um, if we go into here, is you have to have all of the other weapons. Um, you have to have two of all the other weapons and 200 ice star which you buy from the uh the npc that we got after killing the uh, cryogen for the first time this is this is cool i like it you know this is a cool little mechanic the big thing that hung me up so much was getting two of these two frost flares it was actually ridiculous how many times i've had to kill this boss um as a result i did two things uh, first, we got, because we have this little house over here, we got the operator going. I'll go show you what she does in just a moment, um, if you have no idea. And we have a stupid amount of money. <laughs> um, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 platinum. We have 20 platinum. Is that is that correct? Yeah, 20, almost 21 platinum. <laughs> because I was getting so many of those loot bags. And I was selling all the stuff that I was getting, plus the money out of the loot bag. It was insane. Um, I also, if you could tell, went and got a bunch of hallowed bars and upgraded our storage. Um, the way I did that, also from the operator. <laughs> so let's pop over to the snow biome for a moment. Let's come over here and chat with her. So she has the vanilla boss drops and material shop so i could straight up just buy hollowed bar bars from her which is what i was saying before like i could just get this stuff i totally forgot that i could be getting souls of flight from her or fright or my these only pop up once you uh kill the the respective bosses and then all of those like coins that i was getting the reversity coins or whatever they're called um you can well first off i can transition my coins so like i have six tier three coins i could turn those into tier two coins which is cool. Um, it's it's a one for two thing. So I turned six into 12, essentially, if I would like to do that. But what we have here is a, a shop where I could just buy some stuff. So this is materials. So I could buy like Essence of Alien or uh, Purified Gel. And I could do this with just gold, which is quite convenient. Divine Lava. It's kind of fun. <laughs> but we can also buy modded and vanilla treasure bags. So like, for example... The cryogen treasure bag. I had a hundred. I'm not even joking. I had a hundred of these stupid coins <laughs> and I bought as many of these as I could. Um, and then I killed the boss a couple more times and bought several more. It took so long to get this item. It was the better part of like two or three hours of playing uh, to get that and the, the hallowed bars and everything. So yeah, we're in a situation where we've got a lot of cool stuff. We got some cool weapons. I made the spear, um, which is it's okay. I think it's pretty good. Um, overall, actually, I think the frequency manipulator is still really solid and, and we need to go charge it back up real quick before I go do other things. Today, we are going to go take out the aquatic scourge. It's just the next thing essentially on our list here. I mean, obviously we killed the twins, the destroyer and Skeletron Prime, but we're going to do aquatic scourge, which we can do by using seafood if he's not already there. Uh, let's put this back up here. In fact... Let's go see if I can make seafood. I, I'm not sure what I need for it. So we'll go seafood. I'm missing sulfurous sand. All right, that's fine. That's that's super easy for us to get because I could just teleport over to the dungeon um, and then we're off over here. So I'll, I'll pick up a bunch of this and we'll see if I need any more after the 20. Just gonna flatten this out a bit anyways. Okay, let's go back. And dump this in and use this to possibly make our boss summon. I wouldn't mind just like going straight into it. Although it's almost nighttime. So was I really talking that long? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't remember where this. I think the sun was going down as, as I started this episode. All right. Let's go to seafood. What else am I missing? Shark fins. Those will get you every time. I got plenty of starfish, right? No, no shark fins. I think I can actually buy shark fins, uh, potentially. Let me look around. I was talking to this vendor that sells us all the, the accessories. And I just realized that with a, with a lucky coin and the gold ring, I can make the coin ring. And then with the coin ring, some of that divine lava, which I might have some and a crimson heart. I 
don't, I think I might be able to purchase the Crimson Heart um, and a broken dimensional casket. We can make the thing that makes all gold just go into my inventory, which is hyper convenient. So I'm going to have to keep that in mind. I think I'll, I'll start off by buying these um, and making that ring, but I don't think I have everything else. I'll have to check. I still haven't found any shark fins anywhere, which is kind of inconvenient. Oh, actually, I just realized I just need the gold ring to to make that. I still don't think I have enough. Let's let's just double check real quick. What is it called? The Heart of Greed. Wow, that is definitely not there because I don't think it's technically under equipment. Um. Oh, you know what? I do have. No, I don't. I don't have a shadow orb. Uh, I thought I. I thought I might. Okay, yeah. So I'm just gonna backseat this one for the moment. Um, we'll get back to it. Man, she doesn't even have any shark fins. This is ridiculous. I, I hate farming shark fins. This is another thing that um, was an, uh, an issue when we were doing uh, the, whatchamacallit, the hardcore series. All right, here we go. We're going to go uh, this way. We're going to go to the beach, and I guess we're farming sharks? Hunter potion. Oh, I really need some air stuff, don't I? All right, I'll come back here in just a second. I think the big thing is with this, just not accidentally uh, summoning Leviathan and kill it. Ooh, shark! There's one. Get wrecked. This uh, this the shock room is really cool. The Kelvin Catalyst is also a super cool name. Not gonna lie. I think I only needed five. Also, I got a pirate map. Heck yeah! Right, let's go back to um, the town real quick and check. If that is all that I needed, that would be very, very convenient if that was all that I needed because that didn't take long at all. I'm going to hold on to this pirate map because we also need to do that. So that's a thing as well. I don't even remember what we were trying to make. Uh, shark fins. Oh, right. Uh, seafood. <laughs> I just blank it. It's one of those days. All right. So we got some seafood. We can summon our boss. Should I go ahead and clear this first? Maybe I should. Actually, that's not a bad idea. And... Even with that, what I should do as well is pop a new flask. We should do the flask of gold. That was nice. Didn't it uh, didn't end up using our flask? And then let's summon this and kill us a pirate invasion. My goodness, this weapon is incredibly good. <laughs> it's very, very, very good. Uh, I just picked up a uh, alchemist NPC weapon. It's fine. It's cool. I'm not going to use those, by the way, but they are very, very, very cool. Like, look at this weapon. It, it like bounces all over the place. It's really cool. It works quite well. I'm enjoying using this weapon for these events because the little shard things that become sentient chase after enemies. Also very strong. Oh, we got our first flying Dutchman. That'll be nice to take out. Um, how do I want to do this? Probably get a little closer here. Can I bring it over to our arena? Might make it a little easier to fight. I, d I don't really feel like I need to... Um, use any other weapon for this. Like, this weapon is quite good, but... It's also not... I guess it is doing quite a bit. It's just a matter of kind of getting it to work. Maybe, maybe the cross is better. Oh, no. <laughs> The exorcism is not better. I mean, it does a lot of damage. <laughs> when I hit with it, it hits. It is just really hard to hit. Come on. Die, you stupid boat. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the, uh, the cross for this. What is it called? It is called the exorcism. Okay, that's what I thought. Come on. Eh, almost got it. A heal. I've run back to the nurse twice to top off on, on health, by the way. So this hasn't been like completely smooth running, but it, you know, it's better than, than nothing, I suppose. Can you, oh, it died. That's cool. I think the shards finished it off. Nothing from it. Not really that surprising though. I, I wasn't expecting uh, much from it. We're almost done with the pirate invasion, which is convenient. Uh, this weapon is kind of hard to land. I, th I think more so than, say, the, uh, the uh, what is it called? The frequency manipulator, which kind of has a very similar vibe where, like, things go and home in on, on enemies, which is really nice. So we got to kind of keep that in mind here that it, it's good. It's really good for clearing groups of enemies, but I think it's possible that uh, that I have other better weapons for this. 
Step. Oh, another flying Dutchman. Are you kidding? All right, I'm gonna go heal. <laughs> Just utilizing the nurse for hacks. That's, that's, that's what we do. It works. Oh, you know what works really well is this terror talon. Here, let's see if we can land this. Oh, I whiffed. All right, hold on. Let's get let's get that um that stealth strike. <laughs> Just the pierce on it does a lot. You know what? This actually might be better for this particular event. Oh, we defeated it. Okay, that's fine. I got no space in my inventory. Let me clear this out, and we'll figure out um, <laughs> what to do with that. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Inventory's good. Um, let's go ahead and knock that off. Do I have food? I do. We're gonna go to the dungeon and we're gonna haul butt this way. I do have water walking, so that's gonna make this a tiny bit more convenient. As long as I don't dip into the water, I think. Um, I feel like I can go ahead and buff now. I don't remember how far out this goes. Just over to here. Okay. Um, Where's our food? Seafood. I have no idea how well this is gonna work. So we're we're kinda we're doing this together. We're experimenting together. Okay. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try our new weapon. Even though it's not enchanted or anything, I think it'll make um, a fairly big difference if I can get it to work. Cause it is cool. <laughs> it's really cool. But it's a matter of of landing the hits with this one. The stealth strike specifically oh that's right i forgot about all these and they follow you around man the aquatic scourge is such a cool fight i think i i i struggled slightly with it as a mage from my recollection it was not the easiest fight that they gave us but that that may be due to the low defense that i think i had because right now i feel like i'm crushing this I also have better wings than I did as a mage at this point, I believe. And there is an item we need from the Aquatic Scourge uh, for a row. It's like a spine of some description. I'm going to get rage here soon. Oh, wow. I forgot about all these clouds. That's that's what the spine does. It gives you the clouds as an effect on your rogue strikes. Oops, dash back this way. Oh, there's so many projectiles. This weapon is so good. <laughs> for this particular fight. I'm low on health though. He does become slightly more agile. I need to pay attention to that. Give me that stealth strike, baby. Alright, that was good. I think maybe one more of those and we got this. Woo, woo. Yeah, that was not hard at all. <laughs> that was really easy. Oh, no, my loot. No, it's just, I don't want to be, Ugh, give it to me. Okay. How many times are we gonna actually have to kill that to get everything I need? Oh, that's right, and there's a new... Okay, let's go back to town real quick. I forgot that once you kill the Aquatic Scourge, the Acid Rain event gets upgraded. And you get a bunch of stuff from it. So, ooh, Angling Kit. Camouflage Weather Radio. I think I got all those, yeah. Um, let's see here. So, Perfection Token, which we're not going to use, I don't think, because I don't know if this is knows what our best possible result is. Um, we got the Scourge of the Seas, which is hyper good, and this is a pretty good roll on it. Snaps apart into venomous uh, a venomous cloud upon striking an enemy. Stealth strikes are coated with vile toxins, afflicting enemies with a powerful debuff. Um, we got the Deep Sea Staff, which is summon one, and we got the Magic one. Uh, we also got the Aquatic Emblem. Most ocean enemies become friendly and provides water breathing. Being underwater slowly boosts your defense over time, but also slows movement speed. The defense boost and movement speed slowly re uh, speed reduction slowly vanishes while outside of water. Maximum defense boost is 50. Maximum movement speed reduction is 10%. That's not too bad. Provides a small amount of light in the abyss. Moderately reduces breath loss in the abyss. All right. Cool. Um, we're going to drop in all of this stuff. Uh, let's see here. Sulfurous Sea lore. I remember the serene waves and the clear breeze. The bitterness of my youth has long since subsided, but it is far too late. I must never repeat a mistake like this again. And Aquatic Scourge, a horror born of pollution and insatiable hunger. Based on size alone, this was merely a juvenile. These Scourge creatures are the largest aquatic predators, and very rarely do they frequent such shallow waters. That's cool. Good lore. Good lore. 
Um, there was no more loot there, right? Yeah. So let's come over to them. Oh no, I just did it again. <laughs> how many times in the series have I done that? And then better yet, how many times in my entire Terraria series, all of them, have I done that? It's been a lot. It has been a lot. I feel like I've got so many good weapons. I want to try the Scourge of the Seas. Let's see how much damage this does. Um, bam. You know what? Those little clouds are super good. And it can spawn multiples. You know what? That's that's really nice. Okay, what else we got? Uh, got a bunch of gold out of that. Let's put the weather radio in there. And... I don't know how many coins that gave me. Four tier three coins. I had six. I think it's 15 for a bag. So I think we're going to have to go clear out the acid rain event and then maybe do that boss fight again. Because I do need that accessory. It is hyper, hyper good. Um, let's try the Scourge of the Seas. See how this goes. Although I say that and now we're in a situation where it is dark. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just turned it to daylight, but... It's, it is very dark. And I, I have the sunshine potion still on too. And that's not helping. All right. Let's, um, there's a mini boss that I need as well. I don't remember what for, but I know that there's a mini boss and I'm going to have to kill it. Um, maybe I'll go back to using the Kelvin catalyst for the time being. Oh, I think I hear it. I don't know where it's at. Maybe it's down here. I believe it is. Yeah, there it is. All right. The Kragmire or Kragmire. Okay, cool. Let's just get that dead if we can. I don't believe it is too difficult. Yeah, all right, cool. We got it. Pick up all that loot. Get the heck out of there. What was it that I... Oh, it was the nuclear rod. Ah, that's what it was. Or the... Not the, the... It was the spent fuel container. This is a rogue weapon that is so freaking cool. Um, let's see here. What can I... Uh, let's just swap it out here. So it's, it's kind of what it seems like. <laughs> just a nuke <laughs> it is so cool this is one of my favorite rogue weapons that I've ever seen in this one it's just quite unique you you have to land it but I mean I think everybody can see the the use in that like if, if we were doing I don't know the the pirate invasion again like it just sits there and lingers and does so much damage it's also good for any kind of event like that so when we eventually have to go and farm those out for stuff like the uh, Halloween event and whatnot, it's all going to work for us like that. That is such a good weapon. Okay. Finally cleared this one. It takes time. You know, these events, even, even if I've got like a super good weapon that I'm able to clear with, it does take up a lot of time. I'm going to drop down and try to get as much. Oh, we got the Skyfin bombers too. Oh, interesting. All right, I got, I got to come back here. My inventory is just an absolute mess. Um, I'm going to hold on to one of these. What are the corroded fossils used for? Oh, I can use the acid rain barrel. These are cool too. And I have one of the contaminated biles, I believe. So I could use that. There's a couple other things. I can make a caustic tear. <clears throat> is there anything else? Acid eel banner. Eh. I got the scales. I don't think... I don't think I could make anything new with those. Like the, these are just low level stuff. All right, that's fine. And then we have the Skyfin bombers, um, fishy bombers inbound. Launches a Skyfin nuke that homes in on enemies below it. Sky uh, stealth strikes rapidly home in regardless of enemy position. It's pretty good. Uh, cool. Yeah, let's let's dump the rest of this. And I'll go pick up the rest of my loot. So deposit, um, including that one. There we go. I'm going to put this up here. We'll move this over. My inventory is just very slowly being consumed by cool weapons that I'm like, ooh, I'll use this eventually. We all know the truth. We all know. Don't worry. We all know. So one thing I wanted to mention, uh, YouTube has implemented a new feature that I think is quite cool. At, at least, oh my goodness, I did it again. <laughs> I hate this game. So... They implemented a new feature. Now I'm all flabbergasted. I have no, no idea what to do. Um, that I, I personally like. And is something that I would use on channels that I watch. Um, so before they added this new thing, they had added the super thanks. Which is kind of like, like if you... Um, 
it, I guess if you just want to support a channel and have a message that the creator is going to see, uh, the reason for the super thanks is to is to be able to do just that, which I think is a cool cool idea, and and it works um, because the super thanks like as a content creator you do see it, it pops up and it's it's very obvious it's hard to miss, um, and it supports the channel because it costs a variety of. Um, money depending on how much you want to put down on a super thanks kind of like what one person may do like watching a twitch stream or something like that like this is a this is a normal thing on twitch but what they've implemented which i think is awesome because it works really well and fits the platform very well is they've upgraded the super thanks on a channel to also include what is a mauler Let's go find out. Oh my goodness, that's like a shark. <laughs> it did a lot of damage. Oh, that's that's a big boy. <laughs> Let's get out of there. Oh my goodness. It's got a lot of life. What's the point of this thing? I... <laughs> cool. Let's go get my platinum and nine gold. <laughs> I just got wrecked by a shark. I need to kill the aquatic scourge again. And it's raining again. Get, get out of here, rain. Bad. Bad rain. So <laughs> they uh, basically, when you do a super thanks now on a video, um, you are able to leave a highlighted comment um, that looks really cool. And for for my channel in particular, if I see a super thanks comment, it gets priority responses. So like, um, if you if you have something, because you guys have been commenting a lot lately and it's been helping out immensely. But if you have something that you're like, oh, this would really help him or something that you just want to be like, hey, thanks for making the series, because I get a lot of that, too. And I think that's really cool that you guys are very kind about that. Then a, a super thanks comment is a perfect way of doing that, like just showing like, hey, you know, thank you for making this. Also, here's this cool looking comment on this video. <laughs> it gets all colorful and everything. I like it a lot. It's some people find it cheesy, but you also got to pay the bills, you know? If you're not, by the way, if you're not subscribed at this point onto the channel and you've watched all the way through, how many episodes are we on? I don't know, like 20 something, then you really should. Because <laughs> if you like my content this much to watch this much through, then you, you would actually quite like everything else that I do because it's just this but more. And the fact is, I upload daily videos. I have a perfect record for the last 10 years of uploading daily videos. So if you like my content, there's a lot of it as well. This boss fight's going really good because we got that, um, that what'd you want to call it? Yep, that thing. Adrenaline. Just totally blanked out on that word because I was really focused on trying to dodge that stuff. And you know what? I still hit it. Still ran into that stupid cloud. Dash under. Do the whole uh, destroyer trick where you, where you go under him sometimes. I, I want to save up for a rage attack here, but I really need him to come right out. There we go. Yeah, like that. That's beautiful. Beautiful. And now, now he's dead. Uh, where'd the loot go? Oh, no, there it is. Pick it up before it goes on. <laughs> did we get the bag? Did we get the bag? Yes, we did. Did we get my item? No, we did not. Hmm. That really sucks, but I can honestly just do it again. I've got all my buffs, so I may as well, actually. Let's go ahead and start it. See if we can get another adrenaline on this one. I think adrenaline is quite helpful <clears throat> for zipping through this fight. And obviously, the faster you do the fight, the less damage you're going to end up taking. Just because you get through the, fa the, the last phase faster. That was hard to say. Wow, he's like really coming at me. <laughs> he's getting very aggressive there. I don't know if anybody noticed that. He's coming straight at me. Whoop. Go back this way. The wings are helping a lot. I like the upgrade on our wings. That was um, definitely a, a good get. Finding that leaf. Leaf? Feather? Same thing, right? <laughs> what am I talking about? I don't know. Finding that feather in the underworld when I was trying to get them all flesh dead for the rogue emblem. Let's finish him off. He's so close. That was a really good adrenaline. It did a bunch of damage, even though I didn't fire right away. I saved up for the stealth strike and... Um, it did me well. Let's, let's wait for the rage attack on the next one. That should finish him off. Come here. Here we go. There we go. And this time, it dropped the loot in a spot that I'm not too worried about. Uh, let's go back to town. Can I get this item? 
Who knows? Ooh, we got a mythical one. Corsar's immortal. 20% damage, 10% speed, 8% crit strike, 10% or minus 10% velocity. No, plus 10% velocity. And this one. Oh, wait, no, that was the downpour. Blah, it got me. Okay, let's dump this stuff in. Even though I already have so many of those fishing things. Uh, we'll dump this. In. Oh, I just put the bag in there, didn't I? Let's get that back out. Open this one up. Did I get it? No. I feel like I got less than I have been. I got the, the bar nautical, which I think is supposed to be a barnacle. I just, I want to get this so I can do the, uh, I just put that stupid chest in there. I want to do the, I uh, get this so I can do the, the fight with, um, wow. My brain just does not want to work. Brimstone, <laughs> brimstone elemental. I got there eventually. And look at all the money we've got now. This is great, which is going to come in handy because one of you awesome commenters, once again, uh, pointed out to me that oh, got the. And we had a traveling merchant and they departed that uh, you can buy the uh, rod of discord from the wizard in the hallowed biome for like 25 platinum, which is a lot, but I have more than that now. <clears throat> All right. So I'm not getting anything special out of this. Can I go to modded treasure bags? There's 10. I could buy one. Did I get it? I'm not even sure I get this thing. It's funny that I got another heart of darkness though i i honestly don't remember i thought it came from him maybe maybe it's not maybe i might have to do research on that it's like a corroded spine let's let's see let's see if i can find it Sp uh spine no that's that's a creepy thing <laughs> it's not what i'm looking for uh d d items let's see if i can look in here spine yeah there it is corrosive spine okay can i see where this comes from no. Uh, loot. It is loot. I believe... Wait, two times right click. Okay, so it does come from the aquatic surge. <clears throat> Maybe I could do it a couple more times real quick. Yeah, I'm going to go do that. Oh, this is so annoying. Like, <laughs> this is the third time I've killed him. <clears throat> and all the loot, for whatever reason, spawned down here. He was way up in the air, but he sp it all spawned down there? Okay. Let's check this out. So we got those, right? Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to deposit all of that like so. Let's open this one up. Still didn't get it. That's really annoying. <laughs> I could sell all this stuff and I will. I'm just trying to dump it for now. Wow, that really sucks. I've, I've killed him a lot. <laughs> I just haven't gotten it. Maybe, maybe it's a um malice mode only item now maybe i don't think so i think it was just a normal uh thing but who knows i know like you know when you get revengeance only item it says it so let's check no it doesn't doesn't say that it just says corrosive spine does it have a specific drop rate i don't know i think i'm gonna have to look it up um let's look at our list now that's that's looking pretty good so we got the pirate invasion done. We got the flying Dutchman killed and we killed the aquatic scourge today. That's quite a lot. Oh, and we also got the post aquatic scourge acid rain done. Brimstone elemental next on our list. That's going to give us our armor upgrade. Um, and then we could do a solar eclipse. Can we? I don't know. Oh yeah, I guess it can happen after. So yeah, we can get that done or go do calamitous and, and plantera. I think those are going to be really fun to do.